Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a mid-side EQ using Patcher and Fruity Parametric EQ 2. Now this is the first video in a series of videos that I would like to do about Patcher, and the goal of this series is to kind of teach you guys how to use Patcher more effectively, especially the more complicated or the less known things about Patcher so that you can use Patcher to create your own you know, really cool uh, custom effects or custom synthesizers or you know all, all that kind of stuff. So if you like this idea, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you have any kind of Patcher preset that you want me to show you how to make, please let me know. Uh, you can request that in the comments as well. But now let's get started. So I'm going to start by loading up a Patcher in the mixer. This is a mixer preset, so you have to load up the patcher in the mixer. And now I'm going to right click to add a plugin. And in, in the effects, I'm going to open the plugin picker. And I'm going to find the fruity stereo shaper. So I've added the stereo shaper into patcher. And the way you do mid side processing with the stereo shaper is you can select a preset. So to select a preset, you can right-click these arrows here, and you can go down to Mixing, and then you do Mid-A Side Splitter. And you can see this you know, turns it into a mid-only sound. So if I play the sound, you can hear it sounds mono, and that's because it's just the mids. But what this does is it outputs the side information into this uh, sidechain output. And so to get that, you have to activate the sidechain output. Um, and this works for a number of different plugins, uh, which is why I'm making this video, because it's an important thing to know. You, you, you can enable different audio inputs and different audio outputs by right-clicking the plugin in the map and then going down to inputs and outputs. So for this case, I want outputs, audio, and then it looks like it's outputting to send to. So I want to do send to. And now I can take this and put it to FL Studio, and we should have the original sound. So if I disable this patcher, uh, you can see it sounds exactly the same. So we have successfully split this into mid and side signals. And now, if we want to do an EQ, we can add plugin, open plugin picker, and find the uh, fruity parametric EQ2, which is right here. And then I'm going to save this preset, because uh, it's quicker that way. And now we have two of them. Um, so the main output, remember, was the mid. So I'm going to put that through one of these, and then I can right-click to rename it, and I will name this mid. And then I can right-click to rename the other one, and rename it side. So now I have a mid EQ and a side EQ, and I can put them both through to FL Studio. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you make a mid and side EQ using the patcher. If you wanted to, you could use the surface and you could add controls uh, for each of the EQ bands. But in my opinion, it's easier to just leave it as it is. And yeah, you can double click to open up the mid EQ and you can change it. And then yeah, you can double click the side. Yeah, you know, let's say you want to mono those low frequencies. So yeah, hopefully that video was helpful. Hopefully you understand now how to use Patcher to create a mid-side EQ. And then also how to activate the different audio inputs and outputs uh, for various plugins. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.